Sissio here, Sissio Performance. I wanted to do a little video just to give you guys kind of a verbal rather than written update on the C8 developments that have been coming through the pipeline the last couple of weeks. As I'm sure a lot of you know, HP Tuners has given us the ability to crack the ECU in order for us to be able to tune these cars. This is a huge development for us, obviously. We have been one of the forerunners, uh, one of the leaders in the C8 development community for the last three years. Um, it's been a painful journey just because of our lack of ability to actually do what we want to do um, with the cars. However, it's been a journey where we were able to learn a lot of stuff that I believe uh, has put us in the forefront uh, of, of even the tunability of these things at this point just because of our understanding, which I'm very proud of. I had planned this three years ago when I bought my C8. I knew that it was going to be some time. I had no idea it was going to be three years, but I knew that it was going to be some time before we were able to actually tune these cars. But I wanted to get the head start because I knew that when we would be able to tune them, we would have learned and come, come far uh, in understanding you know, the built motor cars, what they needed, what they broke, what they did in the stock motor cars, uh, all the systems, the ECUs, what, where they pulled power, how they pulled power, and why so that when we had the ability, we would be able to go, oh, yep, we know exactly what that is and go right to it. I'll explain a little bit more of that in a more detailed video later on. I'm gonna get with our tuner, Taylor, and we're just gonna sit down and kind of have a good, you know, wrap video back and forth so you guys can kind of actually watch us talk about our journey through this. For now, I'm gonna try not to get too long-winded about it, even though there's just a lot to tell. I'm gonna to try to narrow this, the scope of it. So I'm very excited and proud of, of where we are right now in this space. So just in case you don't know, the, the um, process is you actually have to pull the ECU out of your car, send it to HP tuners for them to unlock, and then we, we, you know, we bring it back here, and then we tune it from there. Um, there. It's a little bit more cumbersome than just being able to put the car on the dyno and tune it, but we don't care at this point. That doesn't matter. So um, we just appreciate them, them putting the time, the effort, the R&D money into doing it. So... The car comes here or wherever it is, we pull the ECU, you send it off, you, they charge a certain amount to unlock it, we, they send it back and that just gives us the ability to tune the car and then from there we can tune it. Um, I won't get into pricing or anything like that in this particular video, maybe in another video. Um, what does that do? What does it give us the, ability, us the ability to do? Well, everything. There is not. This wasn't a partial unlock on HB Tuner's part, uh, part where they give us a couple of tables to be able to adjust that they know are crucial. They literally dug into this ECU and gave us pretty much access to everything we needed. Um, so for the stock motor cars all the way up to the built motor cars, uh, you know, stock motor cars, you have your C700 car, which we'll just call it a stock fuel system, turboed car. Then you have your C900 car, which is our port injected, uh, port injected stock motor car. Um, the reason for that is the fuel system only goes to a certain point and you're only as good as your weakest link. Uh, so, and then of course your built motor car that will then make, you know, 1,011, 1,200 horsepower, depending on what the next weakest link is. So there's kind of three phases to this and three, three different types of tuning that happen. Uh, we'll start with the C700 style car, okay? And this is just, C700 is ours, but like if there's any other manufacturer, developer, or person out there that has a different branding for their turbo car that does not have an auxiliary fuel system, that's the same, okay? So if you're shopping, around that's totally fine great awesome um, this is just an informational video for you like if you have a factory fuel system your factory fuel system is only going to go so far i don't care what tuner you have i don't care what um who, who you go with what turbos you have you could have turbos this big around or turbos this big around the fuel system is only going to go so far so you're going to get to the to the edge of that of that system um, for us it's our c700 package okay um, what that changes in our c700 package is a lot see the factory ecu is a torque management ECU. Uh, the GM ECU says, hey, listen, this is exactly, and I'm, I'm layman's terming this a little bit. I'll get more in depth with Taylor. The, the D factory ECU says, I want to make this much torque or this much power. And then it stops. It'll pull time and it'll close the throttles. It'll do all kinds of stuff to tell you you're making too much power. Previous to this, we had no control over that on the factory ECU cars without the port injection, um, which would, would be without a piggyback. So we had no control over that. So our base model cars, well, you know, we call it C700. That was, we called it C700 because that was crank horsepower, you know. They would make around 600 and change, something like that. 
But the, the, the issue was the further and longer you did a pull, the slower and slower the car kind of got because of the fact that the ECU was saying, no, no, I'm making too much power and start pulling the throttle. No, no, I'm making too much power. I'm going to start pulling the throttle. And it would do that mostly at the top end of the RPM curve, which is where your speed came in. So while peak numbers were very close, you know, your RP or your power at the end of your graph was drastically different. I will show you a visual of that here in a couple of minutes. So anyway, uh, so we have now the ability for full torque management, uh, you know, of all the torque tables, full airflow management so that we can tell the car, you're supposed to be making this airflow, not you're supposed to be making this airflow. So here, before it would, it would try to throw check engine lights, it would cut power on shift, it would do all kinds of stuff because the car was going, no, 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 I'm not supposed to be making this much power. But we had no real control over changing that. We had control to manipulate it a little bit, um, just from some trickery, but we didn't have control over changing it completely. Now, we have full control over saying, hey, listen, no, you're not supposed to be making this much power from the factory. Now you're supposed to be making this much power. And the car reacts as such. The airflow tables work as such. The torque management tables work as such. Um, you know, any type of, uh, we'll call it, you know, anytime the car gets angry and not, it doesn't get angry anymore as far as any type of lights it tries to tell you about or anything that it tries to tell you on the dash or so on and so forth. You know, each car was a little bit different before. It was an absolute pain in the butt. Um, we did our very, very best. Uh, we worked very hard to make it so that it was a seamless process for the client, but it was, it was a labor of love. And now we have the ability to go in and really just tell the car, no, you're not supposed to do this. Forget what GM told you. No offense, GM. We love your product. Uh, we want you to do this now, and we want you to have the ability, or, or with the ability to do this, we want to give you um, other resources behind it. So it's very, very exciting. So now our C700 package makes 720 horsepower all the way to Redline, which again, I'll show you in the future, which is going to make the car way faster. Um, we've been doing about three weeks of development right now. We're onto the built motor cars now. Um, we started with the you know stock motor cars and, and, and worked our way up. So I haven't put anything on the street yet, but we're about to in the next couple of days to get you guys some 60 to 130. And then hopefully we're going to get to a drag strip with one of these cars ASAP. What is an unlock for naturally aspirated guys? I'm going to hit on this quick and then I'm going to go to another video about this, but it gives you the ability naturally aspirated or turboed or blower, um, you know, pro charger or any type of other supercharger um, to put a cam in the car, different intake manifold, port the heads. You know, do all the stuff that you would have done to one of your old, the older Corvettes to, in order to get power naturally aspirated. Now you can do that to the C8, which is extremely, extremely exciting. We do not have numbers on that yet. I have four cars in line in order to do naturally aspirated tunes on from all the way from exhaust to exhaust with cats to exhaust with or with full headers, ported intake manifold. Um, I've got heads being ported, CNC ported right now to go on a car and also a prototype cam package that we're working with Texas Speed on. Um, so we have that all in the works. We are going to be pumping data at you guys as far as the naturally aspirated and the turbo stuff, um, cammed, so on and so forth. Um, it's, it's going to be very exciting. So I'm it's just a little touch because we don't have the data there yet. And I want to give you guys proper, awesome data. So, but we will, we will have that data for you very soon. Like I said, we have four cars in line, uh, in order to do that in the next couple of weeks, we'll have that information. So. As you can tell behind me, we've got a few of these cars in line. This is actually only about half of them that are here. The other half of them, the ECUs are actually out and they're at um, HP tuners right now. So I think we have 1110 or 11 C8s here right now uh, getting tuned. All the, everything from your stock motor car, or excuse me, naturally aspirated stock motor car, all the way up to, you know, gnarly built motor cars that are getting cams and all kinds of fun jazz. So we're excited about this. Looks like we're just a Corvette shop right now. Um, we love the Corvette. We're not just a Corvette shop. We've got, you know, a Ferrari over here and we've got GTRs behind the, the cameraman and we've got, um, you know, Lamborghinis and R8s in the back. You know, we're, we still work on all kinds of cars, but the last few weeks we've been flooded, thankfully, with, you know, this amazing ability to tune these C8s. So uh, we want to give as much information to the community as we possibly can. Uh, we are here to support. We are here to help. We're here to answer questions. Uh, we want to support the other dealers with, with parts or with knowledge or with, uh, clutches or whatever we possibly can you know we're, we're we've synced up with Dodson as most of you guys know been working for years um, fighting things you know as far as the control and the slippage and this and that and now now we have all the torque management stuff to be able to do that and a little birdie has told me that we also have TCU tuning coming right around the corner while I don't feel like that's necessarily hindering us right now it'll be a nice thing to have to just add some pretty cool features um, 
but that's supposed to be coming down the pipeline here in a few weeks. So I'm going to take you inside. I'm going to show you that right now and give you the little, little uh, graph illustration so you guys can see with your own eyes exactly what I'm talking about and how excited it is. So come on. All right, guys. So I don't have like a laser pointer or a PowerPoint presentation, which is what I'd actually like to have. So this is the best you get is our TV here in our lobby and me just kind of explaining this. So if you look, the green graph is the previous C700 package, which again, we rated at the crank. Um, you know, that graph, you can see where it like, it makes almost the same peak numbers. Uh, you know, if you look at it in the blue line is the tuned, the tuned numbers. But if you look up at the very, very top of the graph, so right here is at 6,500 RPM, you will see that the difference between the two power levels at red line is massive. So as the cars come up, you know, they're, they're decently similar, but once the ECU sees, hey, listen, um, we don't really like the amount of torque that this car is making, it starts limiting the throttle. And you can see it do that right there in the green line, how it kind of humps down and flattens out, okay? Um, and again, I'm sorry, this is, tall. well, maybe this is either tall or I'm short. It's fine. It's probably a combination of both. Um, and then and on the tuned graph, you can see how it just carries, 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 because we were able to tell the car, hey, listen, don't limit me. We want all of our power. And we are, when we have the ability to make it because of the turbos. So you see the peak power on the, on the tuned car is all the way at red line, which means if you shift, as you shift, it's happening right here. 6,000 RPM, you shift, it goes to 5,000, right? Every single time. So how fast, how much faster is the car? Well, previously, if you shifted and it went back there and shifted and went back there, you can see the green line has got that hump in it. So you're, you're actually losing power up at the top end of the RPM. And that's something we didn't have any control over. The car was way faster than it was factory, way more fun to drive, but still limited based on the fact that the airflow in the factory ECU was saying that, no, don't, don't do that. Now, this is not on a C900 car where there's a, um, an aftermarket ECU that's added to it, an aftermarket port injection. Those we have a lot more control over. But these cars, this was, this was happening consistently with every single car. And now we have the ability to say, no, make power aware to red line. What that does is when it shifts and you're in, you know, the kind of power band or the meaty part of the power and you're all in it and you're shifting through the gears, you're not getting that rollover on shift that then comes back in kind of slow because the ECU is trying to limit the power as it comes back up. You're literally getting a much faster, much cleaner RPM band as your 100% throttle. So um, if you can see, you're literally, I mean, at 5,000 RPM, you're still making almost 700 horsepower. And then from 5,500 up, well, no, actually from 5,300 up, you're making over 700 horsepower for that whole time. Versus previously, if you look at this graph, you were making 500 horsepower at red line. So instead of, is that right? Yes, instead of like, 500-ish to 525 horsepower at red line, you know, where the peak was over here, you're making 725 horsepower, 700 and whatever the car tunes out to, which is a absolutely massive difference, as you can tell, you can do the math, I don't need to do that for you. So, like I said outside, very excited, I want, very exciting stuff, I wanted to give you guys a visual representation of exactly what this new stuff means. So, when we say, hey, our new C700 package makes 725 horsepower now, it might not sound super crazy exciting but it is super crazy exciting because at redline the car is literally making 200 more horsepower than it was before and what does that mean for how fast the car is well hopefully a lot of you find out but it's going to mean a lot so we're going to take these cars out on the street we're going to give you guys some real world data um, now that we can actually you know actually tune and manipulate the uh the ecus on these things so we're very excited about it. That's all I'm going to ramble. I have no idea how they're going to cut this up or how much of this stuff they're, stuff they're going to cut out of it. It might be a little bit too long of a video to, for everybody to follow, but there's a lot of information and I have, I have left more information out of this video than you can imagine. And it will be coming down the pipeline as we do more and more informational serious videos on the new developments for the C8 Corvette. So thank you guys. If you've watched all the way to the end and they don't cut out a whole bunch of this stuff, man, you guys are real heroes. So I appreciate you sticking with me and we'll talk to you soon. Probably next week we'll have another update video about all the exciting stuff that we find out with the two cars that are going on the dyno in the next couple of days that are built motor and really rocking and rolling. So, all right, until then, thanks guys.